Hello there and welcome. I'm Ole Brygger and if you're new here, I really hope I earned your subscription today. Last year, I built this little house. It was laser cut and modified with some foam bricks. Later on, I made some vines and I also have a video of that up here. But today, I found something awesome on my mini factory. I found these tiny little lanterns and it's from two different creators and I want to mix it together. One of them is Simon. He made these awesome posts and this little lantern. There's also a base. I didn't print that, but it's for these electronic candlelights. But this lantern is a bit too open. So I found another creator that made these awesome little lanterns and there's still a hole inside so we can put some wires in it. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna prime them white. I'm gonna paint these with some speed paints and I'll just prefer to paint them white. I painted the posts with some dark wood speed paint and then I will use the enchanted steel for the lanterns. I will mark up one of the wires in this fairy light so I can tell the difference between plus and minus. At the moment, I don't know which is which, but as long as I have one marked up, it should be okay. And then I can cut the wire from the battery pack. And then I can cut the first LED on the wire. The wire is covered in some sort of coating, but I have to sand it down so I can see some copper before I can solder it. I also need to make some room for the battery pack. I'll just make some measurements and cut it out with my hot wire cutter. And it fits perfectly. One of the lanterns is going to be on the wall and the other one will be next to the house on the ground. I'll need to drill a 3.5 mm hole because there's actually wood on the other side of this foam brick. The base is only foam, but I still used my drill just to make a hole. I'll put some solder on the wire before I will extend it. I also put some solder on the other wire, so it should be pretty easy to solder them together. Just to make sure it won't short circuits, I will put on some heat shrink. It was pretty easy to put the wire through the post beam and then through the wall and catch it on the other side. I did the same thing with the other lantern. Now I just needed to solder everything up and put on some heat shrink. All the rest of the fairy light wire I put inside the house just to light it up from the inside. I also used my soldering iron to make a channel for the wire. It is important to put on the heat shrink before you solder because it is quite impossible to put it on after. The hole in the top of the lantern wasn't big enough, so I just needed to widen it up a bit. I used super glue to connect everything together and some hot glue to mount the battery box and attach the wires in the bottom. This was a pretty simple build. I think I spent less than an hour installing all these, soldering things up using the heat shrink, but I also printed all these in advance and they took a couple of hours to print. But one thing, these fairy lights, I really have become very fond of these. You can get them in all sorts of colors, so I ordered a bunch. Here is some purples. You even get some multicolors, so if I need a specific color, I can just cut it out and use it. And I will definitely use more of these in upcoming builds. This is pretty much it for now. Thank you so much for watching this to the end, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now.